Hello, 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 my lovelies. It is Freaky Fridays. Freaky Fridays on talkradio.com with your hostess, Cypher Kai, on this quarantine week, NYC number two, this coronavirus 2020 broadcast number two. So I'm in New York City, and tonight I'm not in the studio. Um, I'll be yelling at Rex remotely. <laughs> um, a friend of mine's mom passed away, and so I'm around with the family, uh, just trying to add a little levity and support. So you might hear drunk people passing from time to time, doors slamming and people carrying on behind me. Don't worry about it. I'm still here for you. Still here for you. Focused and here for you tonight on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. We're going to play some independent artist music. We're going to play some of the new additions to our show. The record labels have been very kind in sending us music to play for you guys' entertainment and enjoyment uh, this evening. Tonight's topic, I know the interns got to send it out. Tonight's topic is going to be, is a same-sex situation negated if there's money involved, right? That's going to be an interesting subject because it's something that um, I came across. My son is here with me from boarding school. I'm not here at the moment in front of me because he's underage, right? But it is something that he came across on his social media, shared it with me. I found it to be interesting enough to talk about tonight on the show. There was something, there was a conversation a young man was having and he made some very proclaimed some things that I'd like to explore and put in front of you guys tonight as well to get your feedback on what you're thinking about the particular topic. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have some fun with that this evening. So the topic for tonight is, is a same sex, sorry, is a same sex situation negated if there's money involved? <laughs> that's what it is got a brain fart for a second so this is freaky fridays with talk radio on talk radio with your hostess cypher kai this is explicit content right so i'm trying to be nice trying to get a few new people acclimated trying to get you guys all together and ready but this is this is an explicit content it's an adult platform i'm sure you can hear the noise behind me already i'm about to choke an uncle or something <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Letch as well. I don't know if you're tuned in tonight, but shout out to Uncle Letch. Shout out to Udenic Media. Shout out to Danny the Photog. Talk. Shout out to Mr. B. Shout out to the Wellness Consultant. Shout out to the Life Reconstruction Strategist. Shout out to the Target. Hmm. Interesting conversation to have about the Target this evening as well. I know you guys like updates on these things. So I'll touch on some information, some updated information about said Target. Mm. Anyway, so this is another episode of Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio with your hostess Cypher Kai. As I mentioned, I know you guys are chomping at the bit. Why isn't she saying it? Why isn't she saying it? Okay, I'm going to get to it. So tonight we have two giveaways tonight. Whatever else I feel like giving out or if my sponsors want to be generous behind the scenes. Tonight we're giving away a $200 cash app giveaway from one of our sponsors from Pure Plan Tonics. Ooh, shout out to Mr. Sexy in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Hello. Glad you're here. Kind of, maybe. I'm sure you're going to make me regret that. But shout out to Mr. Sexy um, in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I'm only calling him Mr. Sexy because I'm sure that's what he wants to hear, right? Don't quite think he's sexy, but I feel like he wants to hear that. So there you go. You're welcome, <laughs> right? Shout out to Mr. Sexy's lady as well. I hope she's tuned in with you. Okay. Anyway, so we're giving away $200 tonight from one of our sponsors. That's Pure Plantonics. This is the company that gives away the free CBDs to you guys from time to time they've been very happy with the sales and what you guys have been doing and supporting them so they're giving away some money tonight right talk radio is your own personal stimulus package i've been promoting for weeks where the answer for tonight's trivia is going to be it's in the episode entitled tricky bitches him versus her there was an um I'm sorry, there's an independent artist whose music we've played on the show for months, for lots and lots of months. And in that episode, I played two songs, two different songs from that particular artist. His name is Pancho Velasio. I don't mind saying the name because that's not the information I want tonight. What I want to know is the name of the two songs that that particular artist sang in that episode of Tricky Bitches, Him Versus Her. That's going to get you the money tonight. That's going to get you the money tonight via Cash App. No, there you go. Bob's your uncle. So <laughs> shout out to everybody who's tuned in. Of course, we have a new thing going on. Any particular country that has an enormous spike over the course of the week, we shout them out. I don't know what it is yet. I'll go behind the scenes and check. But yes, we have some really interesting partnerships we're going to be working on going forward. <clears throat> I got Look at that. God is so good. I got all kinds of yummy information hidden in front of me while I'm here talking to you guys, some separate business stuff, which is going to be great for the show in the long run. Very, very great. Really, really great. So I'm going to start you guys off with playing some music, get back into all the interesting things we're going to talk about. 
this topic of the evening, which is the same does the same sex situation get negated if there's money involved? I need all of my people to turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up in the chat room this evening and express what you're thinking, what your thoughts on this is. Um, be grown. It's uncensored. And look it, I know that we have a really big homosexual community that listens to the show and we appreciate you and this is not about in any way disrespecting you you guys know i'm an equal opportunity destroyer and i will say what's on my mind in any situation you guys seem to love it when i go off on the straight people tonight there might be some things to say about you guys community your community doesn't mean you individually and if you're offended by what's said on the show tonight you've got two options suck it up get past it which you should because it's all about the love and the expression here or you can, unfortunately for you, stop listening to the show. I hope that you ought not to do that, <laughs> right? But tonight we're just going to have grown-up conversations and the audience is entitled to whatever opinion they have. That's how this goes here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. So, play some music for you. Let's see. Let's get into some of these uh, signed artists' music, all right? I came across a song. What's this one? This one's called Big Big. I think I played this last week. I'm not sure. Big Big from Christopher Martin here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Me from a little and the country, me know me did I go far Enough people look and never see nothing but me see a star So many in bright lights and fierce in cinemas Them used to send me chest high but look at me now, look at me now In full control, before in a push to press gas go Design a clothes and shoes like wow And I hype man, I hype me just to show you how me grow Me more a country when me did a climb tree I forgot river come up on the garbage Only time I come a town I must up on a church tree Pardon carry me go airport figure pick up from a lane the family's me, oh we If you know what be for me then I'm sorry Cause job bless me, oh we I'm a block and delete the wicked girl poverty right now Man big, big, big Car big, big, big House big, big, big I'm a girl that might be afraid I'm a bank book big, big, big Lifestyle big, big, big Wanna do it big, big, big from a little bit of summer, one live jar. Don't imagine if a youth like me did born in a money. Get a jump start from a rich daddy or mommy. With the drive of me, have the ambition within. Make me tell you straight, nobody couldn't tell me nothing. All of my friends, them would have rich long time go from me, rich them rich too. Me know myself to share my wealth, that wouldn't be no issue. Give me knowledge to the one them we're willing for listen. Real down in the land, man, I lie on some boy, a kitten man. Big, big, big. Car big, big, big. House big, big, big. I'm a girl that might be afraid I'm a bunk book big, big, big Lifestyle big, big, big Man I do it big, big, big From a little bit of summer one live chimney Chimney, chimney, chimney Money put my mind consistently In on a time for none of me enemy Big moves man I make nothing all the ah, 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 ah. Give thanks to where I'm dead Me I'm big in every country The love real, oh yeah and the way you see me, as you see me, this enough for say, man, big, 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 yeah, big, 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 house, big, 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 girl, I'm mad, yeah, ah, big, 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 lifestyle, big, 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 wanna do it big, so big, 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 from a little bit of summer one, let me say a summer one, big, 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 summer one, big, So big, big, so big, 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 uh-huh. real big. Uh-huh. Tell us someone big, but tell them man big. Talkradio.com's Freaky Fridays, Freaky Fucking Fridays with your host, Cypher Kai, here in the building. I am literally trying to take it easy with you guys, I swear. I'm trying to take it easy because I know there's some people that are sitting around there saying, oh, I've got some new people I'm introducing to the show. Take time with them, Cypher. Look it. I treat the show like sex. I don't take time with it. <laughs> right? I'm not going to take time with it. I'm going to treat it like a really good blowjob. Blow I'm going to grab it at the base. I'm going to talk to it. I'm going to lick on it. I'm going to entice it. I'm not going to take time with it. I'll start slowly. All right? 
blowing the breath across the top, but it's going to get naughty and very pleasurable. Pleasurable. See, tongue tied again. I don't get to do anything fun with my tongue. <laughs> so that's why I keep getting tongue tied on the air. It is live radio. It is live radio. It's okay. Tonight we're giving away money and hand sanitizer. Waiting to hear what the instructions are from the company that wants us to give away the hand sanitizer. So we're going to see what that's all about. But I thought it was very nice that they offered it. Right. Shout out to the sick brand as well at S-Y-C-B-R-A-N-D on Instagram and Facebook. Shout them out. Put some information under their stuff. Let them know you heard about it on talkradio.com. Our Freaky Friday. Also check out our sponsor that gave away the money last. Was it last week? I think it was a week before. We gave away so much money this month. Oh, it was the week before, wasn't it? So we gave away $100. Last week, we gave away $300. But shout out to this company as well. This is bit.ly slash W-A-I-S-T. Ooh. W- I'm sorry, you guys. I got distracted. Oh, my God. I have a very special listener tuned in tonight. Let me focus on what I was saying. Shout out to Mr. Mister Man who just sent me that text. I hope your wife is tuned in, too. Yeah. Um, the North Carolina couple. I hope you guys are tuned in tonight. So... Shout out to this company. I apologize to this sponsor. I got distracted. You guys, I won't even look at, I won't even look in that direction. So here it is. B-I-T dot L-Y slash W-A-I-S-T-A-W-A-Y-N-O-W dot com. Right. They have a great weight loss product. It is also for guys. I want you guys to go over and check it out. Check out the website. Drop a line. Say you heard about it on talk radio. Buy some shit. There's no reason why you're not working on yourself. Right. This is a time of self-improvement, self-exploration, masturbations, all kinds of things. But you can lose weight. And guys, this is for you to get that beach body ready, because I know everybody's going to be so fucking excited to go outside and really take time to smell the roses, especially because none of us can go outside now. We're locked down. So this is the time God has decided, look, all of you people who've been saying you want to do something and not actually doing it, he's giving you the opportunity to do it. Slow down, work out, do those sit-ups, learn to do those burpees, get the weight off, start eating better, right? This is a time, you know what stock should really be going down after all of this shit? All of the fast food, <laughs> all of the fast food. If you guys haven't figured out now to get all, and I'm talking to you and talking to myself at the same time, if you haven't figured out, I stopped eating fast food a long time ago though, but if you haven't figured out to stop eating all this dead flesh and processed food and having all this mucus in your system, all of the people who have really strong immune systems, no matter how old you are, this thing is not affecting you at all. So this is the time when you start to make sense of your life and start saying, you know what? I need to do something different. Yeah. Um, you know, do something different and just change your life. And while you're changing the internal, change the external too. I'm challenging my grown-ups, challenging my grown-ups. I'm throwing down a gauntlet to all of my 40 somethings. 40 something. I want 40 to be the new 20. 40 to be the new 20. I want my 40 somethings, my early 50s. I want us to be out here showing these millennials that the only thing that they have on their side is youth. They don't have any sense, right? And not all of them. And I know my millennials are like, oh, uh, 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 text me, right? Text me. I'm on some bullshit tonight. Text me, <laughs> right? I'm on some bullshit tonight. I'm calling out the millennials. I find that they are, they are taking this the worst. And on a serious note, we'll dip into that a second, right? But millennials are not handling this well. They're so accustomed to being online, pretending something, right? How many kids have gone and said, oh, I, I live by myself. I'm holding myself down. And now you can't do that with mommy yelling in the background, innit? That you've got a curfew and all this other stuff, right? Or that you're, as the kids, it's the reverse. All the nerdy kids saying, oh, how hard they have it. And, um, yo, son, I'm from this part of the hood and that part of the hood. And then you find out this little boss has got his own room with a TV in it and his own refrigerator and all kinds of stuff, right? So it's kind of like, nigga, that's not, that's not struggling. That's not struggling. What the hell? Right? <laughs> it's a whole situation now. And guys, I want to know all your business tonight. I want to know all your business tonight. I want to know how many men are in their homes tonight wishing, wishing one of two things. One, maybe you should have had a different date with your wife before you got with her, right? Maybe that date, like a beach date. So you can see what she had looked like before she didn't have the makeup and shit on. Before the fake lashes and the, and the baby hairs and, and, and the tricky ass wigs that make you think it's growing on her head, right? Or how many guys are wishing that now that girl that you thought was a little too fat, a little too cockeyed in high school that wanted you, bet you wish you were living with her now. Because I can tell you she's got a deep freeze in her house that's always full of food. 
Wishing you were kind of hitched up on the ass right now, ain't it? <laughs> right? The one that you knew or you thought was too unattractive to have your kids. You'd have been in there with her, with cooked food, with her doting on you, and no children running around. How many of you are regretting your life choices right now? <laughs> we're going to get to your business tonight. It is Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com with your hostess, Cypher Kai. And we're giving away money tonight. You know why? Because Talk Radio is about that life. We are actually about that life. We don't talk about it. We are about it. All right? Talk Radio is about it. Stimulus package tonight. Before the federal government does it. Right? Before your employer does it. Before the unemployment does it. Fucking talk radio's doing it. We've been giving away money all week for this money madness march mayhem whatever the hell shit we've been doing. We've been giving it away. Been doing it. Been doing it. (laughs) <laughs> we were doing it. So like I said, tonight's answer is in the Tricky Bitches Him versus Her episode. There were two songs, two different songs we played by an artist named Poncho Velocio. Our archives are available on iHeart, Spotify, the website, whatever. We want you guys to win. So we're going to do that contest at 9 o'clock. So everybody gets a chance to look what they got to look and do what they got to do. None of my friends, let me put you fuckers on alert from now, right? None of my friends asked me to rig this contest. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, right? I'm giving you answers now. So get your asses if needed in between these in- musical interludes to go online, look up the archives, look for the answers on your own. I'm damn near telling you, but not telling you. Because I'm not telling you. I want someone to do the work and win. And not only do you have to have the answers, but wait. But wait until I tell you where to put it. Don't just start texting me answers. Because I look at them and go, oh, they know, they know, they know. There's been 20 people already that's texted me and told me they know the answers. Some were correct and some weren't, right? But you texting me privately does not help, yeah? So just wait. Find the answers if you think you know them and wait for me to give instructions on where it's supposed to go and what you need to do. And then you'll get it. The money's here. We want to give it away. We are about that life. We're built like that. Talkradio.com. Again, the topic of the evening is, does a same-sex situation get negated when there's money involved? We're going to talk about it. Shout out to my son who brought this up to me this evening. The most interesting thing I'd seen all week. So like I said, it's unscripted and uncensored. But when things pique my interest, I want to share it with you. We're going to have a substantive conversation and a what this conversation at the same time about what this thing is about tonight. So going to play some more music here on Freaky Fridays and Talk Radio. Make sure that everybody can get on. They're hearing everything and enjoying everything. Shout out to my North Carolina couple. I'm so honored you guys are here tonight. Cute 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 how are we gonna do naughty things while you listen oh shout out to my latin couple they feel all left out there's a couple that tunes in with me every week for the past i want to say 13 months and they have me in like a virtual threesome every week and the things that they do to me they've been so respectful they will text me things that they're doing but they don't send me pictures which is lovely don't send me pictures but they're so cute and i'm always in this like virtual threesome with them every week it's adorable (laughs) naughty and adorable because they know i haven't had sex in a very long time and they try to help me out in that way so shout out to my Latin couple, shout out to my North Carolina couple, and shout out, ooh, I got some guys who used to play on the European Basketball League tuned in tonight, showing me their Hennessy bottles and shit, ooh, mm, we're going to be grown tonight, if you guys want to get into the chat room and talk to me publicly, go on to the website, www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows, in the player, there's a talking bubble, it will bring you over to another page, so I think you've got to do it from like an i buy something or a laptop or a you know tablet or some shit <laughs> right um you might have to sign up for through facebook or something whatever but do that come into the chat room and be grown tonight let's be fucking grown tonight right if you're shy and you don't want to be seen and you have access to my vip line hit me up there via text or whatsapp you can also message i want you guys to go ahead and join somebody started a group on facebook called friends who like talk radio If you've not joined it already, go over there and join it. There's going to be some really great giveaways specifically for people in that group. And all phones come now preloaded with freaking Facebook in it. So get your asses over there, all right, until we tell you otherwise. (laughs) And if you don't have Cash App, get it. You have time to download it until 9 o'clock because that's the only way you're getting the money tonight is via Cash App. Okay, I think I did all those things I need to do. I'm still waiting for the sponsor to tell me what you guys need to do to win the hand sanitizer tonight because we also have a hand sanitizer giveaway. All right, I'm in the mood for soca. I'm in the mood for soca. I'm going to start some bullshit right now, right? So in the interest of all of the crazy people who've been running around in the supermarkets, emptying things out, hoarding things that they don't know God and they don't have sense, 
this song is in honor of you, <laughs> right? This is Mr. Killer, Run With It, here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Hello, hi. Me and my friend, Mr. Rum, is here to destroy your party. You are static. I had some stress, so I take some shots. But I'm on the dick, ready to the spot. I heard a voice talking in my head. He said, go to the bed. You can go to your bed. So I said, who is talking and where you from? The voice tell me, my name is Mr. Rum. You hear the iron? That means it's dark. that comes freaky fridays freaky Fridays. shout out to my people who are just under 40 who are tuned in and they said they don't know what the 40 is a new 20 look it look it 35 year old you're 35 you know what i'm allow you, you know why because he's on the, he's one of the first responders he's on the front lines he's a nurse thank you for tuning in i know you're super busy i hope this is giving you a little levity and what you're doing for us here in new york so i appreciate you sir hopefully you'll get to be 40 I, i've passed it a while ago but I'm just saying, right? I'm talking about the grown So when I say this, I say anybody that's over 25, anybody over 30, right? I need you guys to really get your minds right in a different kind of level, right? 35 is kind of almost 40. You do the rounding up with the math and all that, right? Now, shout out. There's a couple that's tuned in. My, New, my North Carolina couple is tuned in. They said this got some sirloin, some New York sirloin steaks for like a hundred and something dollars. Is there some kind of sale happening where you are, right? Everybody else is price gouging, but it seems like they're getting steak for cheap. That's amazing, right? Oh, I also want to shout out to this. Okay, so there's a particular West Indian restaurant uh, that I frequent. And even though they're not running an ad with me, I'm going to give them some homage. Let me just say this. So uh, what's the name of this place? It is, oh, it's called The Place. D-E-P-L-A-C-E. This place is located, I believe, at 1695 President Street in Brooklyn. And I'm going to give them a free shout out because I think they're so effing amazing. So not only is the food tasty, but it's plentiful and cheap. And I've noticed that everybody's been price gouging in the midst of this epidemic and what's going on, 
even the bodegas where I frequent all the time. And this restaurant has not only have these clients, these uh, cooks and these cashiers been there. I've not seen anybody coughing. Everybody's got their hair nets on, you know, everybody's got their gloves on and they have not changed the prices for anything. I'm so fucking impressed with them. So please, if you go in there, <coughs> sorry, you guys, I'm in a dusty room. Um, just mention talk radio. You're probably not going to get a discount, but just let them know that you appreciate them. Any store that you go to that's still clean where the customer service hasn't changed. People are not afraid of you. They're not being disrespectful to you. Please, please, please thank them and tip them. Thank them and tip them. It's just the right thing to do. It's just the right thing to do because we're all stuck home. And I know most people, like I said, you're sitting there regretting who you're with, right? Your person can't cook or you just don't feel like being in the house. You just want any escape you can to make an excuse to go outside, support these businesses that are open. Shout out to all of the West Indian restaurants that are open. I know that all the Chinese restaurants are closed. Hmm. Go figure. The Chinese restaurants are closed. The nail salons are closed. All these things are closed. And yes, essential businesses could be restaurants, but all of the Chinese restaurants I've seen are closed. Strange, isn't it? strange who wants to facetime me and masturbate what I, okay i don't do them things i don't do them things unless i've got a, a title on me get out of here <laughs> naughty i tell you i love doing my show i do so i'm gonna play one more song and dig into some of these emails and then we're gonna get into the topic of the evening right after we give away this goddamn money and here's the thing i know you guys love the show so much i'm not even afraid to give away the money before we start talking about the topic, not even afraid to do it, not even afraid to do it because I know you're not going anywhere. Even the ones who don't win, you're not leaving. You're not leaving. I know. <laughs> right. So we're going to do that. Uh, the past couple of weeks I've been on, I've not gotten a chance to get into the email bag. And there's some interesting things that the interns did leave out for me. So. Oh, you bought dinner and got steaks for 120 bucks. OK, very nice. Who else has these really amazing uh, stories of you going to the supermarkets or going to stores and just being impressed by the service or the pricing or whatever? You know what I'm not hearing, though? Not hearing any of these fast food places having any goddamn promotions happening now, huh? Well, those, those chicken sandwiches from that, that chain that had people killing each other. Wondering now, you know, let me be a bit of an asshole for a minute. I'm wondering if there's some correlation to the people that ate those kill, you, kill each other chicken sandwiches and the people who got corona. And yes, it's a dickheaded thing to say. I started by saying this. Don't start with me. Oh, this is a serious disease, Cypher. Don't play around with that, Cypher. The fuck? You're listening to the show. You know what it is. I mean, come on. I'm an asshole, right? I'm an asshole. I'm an intellectual asshole, but I'm an asshole. Little levity, people. It's not that serious. But I'm just kind of wondering what class action lawsuit is going to come from this coronavirus 2020. Because I can see a couple, right? Because I just saw a commercial the other day where they were saying they're still paying out for 9-11 stuff 19 years later. 19 years later. So I'm wondering which lawyers are now sitting around waiting to say, you know what? Anyone who worked, any first responders that worked during the coronavirus 2020, in about five years, there's a clash action lawsuit for you. I know they're sitting around doing it right now. And I can tell you, since I brought this up on the show, I think last week and this week, I expect my cut because I find there's a lot of people listening to the show without admitting it and doing a lot of the shit we're doing right? The cash out giveaways and a couple other things and some of the sayings going around, you know, it's flattering, I guess, because you guys check them really quickly. You guys send me screenshots of you checking other people that's doing what Talk Radio is doing. I love you. You guys are amazing. Anyway, this is Freaky Fridays here on talkradio.com. I'm going to play some independent artist music and then we're going to come back and dig into this email bag and then we're going to give away this money $200 cash app giveaway live tonight on talk radio part of our talk radio quarantine 2020 stimulus package um i also know that we have a $300 cash app giveaway next week information for that contest is in the episode from last week, Friday. What was the topic for that one? I don't remember what the title for that one was. But it's there, the one from last week, damn it. The one from March 20th. Look in the archives, <laughs> right? And that one is about, there's an independent artist we have on the show. There were three different songs played by one particular artist in the episode from last week. That's going to be worth $300 in April. Go back into that archive episode when this one is done. Take your papers and pens out. Take notes. $300 cash up giveaway in April 2020. Because we're going to keep going. As long as God is blessing us and the sponsors are connected to us, we're going to keep giving out money. We're going to keep giving out money because that's what we do. Money and things that you need and all that other stuff. It's Freaky Fridays on TalkRadio.com. What are we going to play? What should I play, you guys? All right. 
Let's start with this one. This one is Beast Mode by Leah Wynn here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Russ, let me talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Badass with an attitude. Attitude, attitude. Yeah. yeah. Leo win, uptown boogie down Bronx bitch. Uptown, nigga don't forget it again. Heard all these bitches wanna fuck with me now. Nah, keep that same energy. CEO head honcho and press president. Whenever you addressing me, two seater skirt skirt in my whip. Skirt skirt, chop the top like I'm showing off my tits. Got a crazy nigga that'll pop pop with a clip. When he hit the target, a hop scotch on a dick. Man down, you're not about the action. You're a noun. Calm my vibes, they hate when I come back around. Make a hot head hoe simmer down, and they know it now, bitch. Number one next to you, zeros. Call me a ten. I am gods, and the next to you, weak hoes. Look at my flex. Yeah, I will always be lethal. Why they so vexed? Word to me that I'm going beast mode. That's why they fret. Yeah, if a bitch try to get loco, on our face, Timberland logo. Don't let up until we see. Rojo, say no names, no more free promo. Shh. I said what I said. You imagine nigga all in my DMs. Right. He know this pussy top tier. He wanna eat it, then leave with me all in his beard. You don't compare, I make him bust quick. Pussy so fat, look like a tuck dick. Waist yeah. on snatch and thighs is dumb thick. Dumb I line a sharp and cut a bum bitch. Bun bitch. in the denim, cause I'm spitting words like venom. Leah got these hoes feeling paranoid, but with no delay to switch your blade. Turn your face and your J's to some corduroys. Number one next to you, zeros. Call me a ten. I am gods, and the next to you, weak hoes. Look at my flex. Yeah, I will always be lethal. Why they so vexed? Word to me that I'm going beast mode. That's why they fret. Yeah, number one next to you, zeros. Call me a ten. I am gods, and the next to you, weak hoes. Look at my flex. Yeah, I will always be lethal. Why they so vexed? Word to me that I'm going beast mode. That's why they fret. Yeah. 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 Just lay on. I know they really mad now. <laughs> they like, they like, really motherfucking bad, you know? Killing these hoes. They like, I know they mad at feeling up. I know they mad at singing bitches really fucking killing up. <laughs> nah, let me stop. I'm done on these niggas. <laughs> Beast Mode by Leo Wynn here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Let's jump into this fucking email bag. Uh, before I get there, let me just shout out to the people that are messaging behind the scenes. So, <laughs> there's a couple of people that want me to pay homage to the other listeners of the show. They're happy to be a part of this family. This is shouting out from Paris. France, they're tuned in. So they're sitting around with their red wine, tuned into talk radio. What time is it over there? Well, they're happy to be a part of the family. Everybody's all quarantined together. It makes everything seem really small when you can do that, right? Now, I also want to shout out to the ass bag that is messaging me behind the scenes telling me that I can be his number one side chick. Let me make something very clear. Let me make something crystal goddamn clear. All right? I am not a side. I don't do sides. I'm an entire fucking main course and dessert, and a very strong glass of something. I don't do sides, right? And I did not sit on my vagina all this time to be somebody's fucking side chick. Cut your shit. Cut your shit. But just felt the need to address that publicly, innit? <laughs> right? So stop your shit. But flattering, because you're foolish, but stop it. All right, so we're going to dig into this email bag. The first email says, I like this guy who likes my friend. Ooh, mm. I have a... I had this gigantic crush on this guy for over two years. I tried to make sure that he didn't like anyone. So I asked if he liked my best friend. We're like the three musketeers. He tells me he kind of does. And over the past three days, he realized he has a crush on her. Now, my friend has a type and she likes her own crushes, but she's my wing woman in helping me get the guy I like. I'm basically in a love triangle. Recently, my wing woman told the guy that someone liked him. So he's been trying to figure out who the person is. I want to tell him so bad, but he's been confiding in me how much he likes the best friend. I'm scared to tell him because he might avoid me and think I've been a liar or not helping him because of my own feelings. Wow. That sounds messy as fuck. Okay, hold on now. (laughs) Let's retrace. So the three of you, 
right? I'm assuming you guys are at least college age. I won't scold you now for thinking that you're young, right? So now it's you liking a guy who likes your friend. And your friend is your wing woman normally when you go out. And so she's told dude that you like him. And he's told you he likes her. That's fucking messy as shit. So what do you do? You don't have a choice. You've got to tell him now, innit? Because you said the friend doesn't like him. You don't know if he likes you because you didn't. nothing was brought up about you. I'm assuming he doesn't, though, since he told you he likes the friend. But guys are a bit fickle. Right? So for him, it might be just kind of, okay, I'll trade one coochie for the next. Now, he might do something tacky and get with you as a means to getting closer to the friend. Or be fucking with you and fucking you thinking about the friend. I mean, if you can handle that, then you're fine. In it, right? I told you guys this was not going to get any better. I don't know, so don't talk. Oh, she curses a lot. Yes, she does. It's Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. So we talk about stuff, sexual stuff. This might be the part where you want to put the babies away. We should have done that from before. Maybe I thought maybe the kind of music that was playing would have made you do it. You would have figured that out. No, all right. So what do you do? You need to tell him. Look, I'm all about forward thinking and I, you know, I'm at the stage of my life where I just kind of want what I want, right? It's kind of no more bullshitting around, no more shitting around. And it's not a disrespectful thing or something to emasculate anyone. It's just kind of a closed mouth doesn't get fed. And in your case, uh, cross legs don't get fucked, right? So you need to say something to him. And if he shuts you down, then that's it. Bob's your uncle and try something else. But having him telling you over and over how much he wants to fuck your friend, it's probably a little frustrating for you. And the longer you wait, yes, he's going to think you're a liar, that you took all his information from him and didn't mention that she has no interest in him and it's you. So, yeah, sort that out. You know, be honest, be honest and upfront. So that's my advice on that particular situation. Um, there's another question here that they gave. Oh, so somebody's saying they should have just, you guys should just do a threesome. Oh, I knew that was going to come. God, you guys are so fucking predictable. So just do a threesome. Now, mm, I mean, it's a thought. That's actually a thought, isn't it? Um, I can't imagine the guy would be opposed to that. Right? The thing is, what's the wing woman thing? Because I'm thinking the way she said it, the wing woman, might not, he might not even be on the wing woman's radar because she has a particular type. She made sure she said that he has a particular type. He's a type, right? So maybe he, she might not be into it. Yeah, something to, something to investigate. She might not be into it. So this is Freaky Fridays on TalkRadio.com with your host, Cypher Kai. The topic for tonight is going to be, does the same sex situation neg is negated when there's money involved? We're going to talk about that. You're like, what? Yeah, but there's an audio clip I'm going to play for you guys and then we'll discuss some things and dismantle it and you guys give some feedback and all that. And we're giving away money tonight. $200 live via cash app. I hope somebody wins it. This is like the talk radio stimulus package. We are doing big things, big bold things here in the face of this fucking quarantine in 2020 here in New York City. So you guys stay tuned for all of that. Gonna play some more music right now. This is Ozuna, Diddy and DJ Snake at a stop here on Freaky Fridays on talk radio. <laughs>
talk to? Check this out. Yes. My old thing back in the game gave her the game, but she still left me with the pain. I guess I need a girl again. Somebody I can marry, give the world again. Cause the sun don't shine forever. Unless it's bad boy, then you know that we ride forever. Necesito una niña, Sirocco and Pina. We in Puerto Rico, una mom in Latina, yeah. Dance, I queda con el pro. El corillo, su amiga le llegó. Yo sé que eres una de Comes freaky Fridays, freaky Fridays. All right, so I before <laughs> before I get back into the emails, someone also sent me an email that I thought was really really interesting. Uh, they sent me some weird sex facts, and it has like a little quiz to it, and I completely fucking failed it, right? And because I failed it, I see I'm not ashamed to say that because somebody was challenging my intellect this week, which. You know, it's neither here nor there, right? Um, I'm self-taught. I don't know if I've mentioned that on the show before, but we'll talk about that another time. But anyway, they sent me this quiz, and I like to be challenged, right? I like, I'm like i the kind of chick that'll study the dictionary. I don't like to not know things. But they sent me this quiz on sex, nonetheless, and I got it completely wrong, yeah? So I'm going to... I'm sure you do. I'm going to give you guys some questions and answers. I need you guys to get your papers and pens out. This is either where you get your papers and pens out now, or this is the part that you say, okay, we're 42 minutes into the show and we're 42 minutes into the show. And I need to go back into this episode and pay attention to what she's saying here. Because at some point, because I like giving away money, especially the sponsor's money, (laughs) right? I am going to give away money based on some of these answers here in this uh, particular segment of the show, right? So that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Hello, Mr. Ware. Always hanging out with me in the chat room. Hi. Hello. Right. So here, here it is. So they said, there's only 10 questions, you guys. Don't get all overwhelmed and shit. I'm winding down closer to giving away this money. So you guys stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hang on. Right? So it says, why were pubic wigs worn in Victorian times? I said it right. Not public wigs. Pubic wigs made out of pubic hair. Right. So why do they wear these pubic wigs in Victorian times? And as I, you know, my stupid ass, I think I answered uh, it was to keep away lice or some dumb shit. I don't know what the hell I said. But the right answer is to hide diseases like syphilis. You know, this thing that gives you the bumps and all that stuff. So see how I didn't even know that. That's like an interesting thing to find out. So pubic wigs were worn in Victorian times to cover up the fact you might have syphilis. Right. So someone says human are human beings, the only animals who have sex for pleasure outside of normal reproductive cycles. I said, yes, the answer was no, that's not true. Dolphins and bonobo chimps do it whenever and wherever. In fact, bonobo chimps, French kiss and have oral sex. What? You know what? Somebody find a video of a fucking monkey giving a blowjob and send that shit to me. Seriously, I just wanted to Google that shit, <laughs> right? Google that shit and send me a picture of a fucking Bonobo chimp giving a fucking blowjob. I'm going to need to see that shit right now. I'm going to need to see that right now. I'm not, I'll tell you, I'm not with the interns. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm lazy. I want one of the fans to do it. Find it and send it to me. Marching orders. Find it and send it to me, <laughs> right? So, of course, the next question was, can sex help with a headache? Uh, I said yes. I'm pretty sure I said yes. Right, uh, because I just think sex fucking cures everything. I do, literally. I had this thing before. You got a backache, you need a fuck. You're broke, you need a fuck. You got a fever, you need a fuck. That's kind of my thing. So the answer was actually, I think I got one right. Then the answer is yes. 
Sure, sex releases endorphins, which naturally reduce pain. You see that? So all of you people, all of you ladies who've been sitting on your vagina, don't want to give any up, or you guys who are angry in the house because you can't have your side chick the fuck, bang the person you're with. It'll make you feel better. Back pains, all kinds of things. I don't think it'll help you get money, <laughs> but tuning into talk radio will. I'm just saying. Okay, what are the benefits of semen? Right? Uh, it can you can do it all. You can do everything. It was good for your skin. And a couple other things, a, a couple other um, options they gave. But it was good for all kinds of stuff. You can do with it whatever you like. Like I said, rub it in her skin like lotion. Bust a nut on your lady. Rub it in skin like lotion. It's a sexy situation. Just do it. Just do it. Um, where did the term blowjob come from? It's a merging of the Victorian slang for prostitute, which was blowsy, and ejaculation, which is blow. So that's where the term blowjob comes from. A Victorian slang for prostitute and ejaculation. Prostitutional ejaculations. <laughs> I made up a word. God damn it. I know it's not a real word. All right. Uh, besides humans, which animals engage in prostitution? The correct answer is penguins. I did not fucking know that. Some female penguins, even when in a committed relationship, have been seen exchanging sexual favors with strange males for the pebbles they need to build nests. Oh, she's doing it for the kids. Look at that. Okay, so pro penguins, prostitute. That is an interesting thing. Look how much things you learn on talk radio. Did you guys know that? They've got these slutty little penguins out here. Maybe it's their hot-ass vaginas that's melting the damn uh, polar ice caps and stuff. We'll revisit that another time. I'm being an asshole again, you guys. Jesus, don't start. All right, you can lose three pounds in a year by having sex eight to ten times a month. That doesn't seem like enough. It can burn... Okay, so you burn 150 calories per half an hour. Who are these people fucking? There's a lot of people with, like, bare bellies and uh, can't lift their legs anymore and bad circulation. Who's doing that, really? And only three pounds in a year for eight times a month. Urgh. All right, well, if you want a lot of weight to lose, <laughs> I suggest you start doing it, like, once a night, 30 days in the, 30 days in the month. Yeah, do the math. You guys will figure it out. All right, if you want to get pregnant and don't mind the father looking at porn, what should you look at? The correct answer, the kind of porn you should be watching is a threesome with two men and one woman. What? Really? A menage a trois with boys. Scientists speculate that seeing co competition makes men step up their baby making capacities. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Guys, what do you think about that? So if you're wanting to get your lady pregnant, she allows you to watch porn. The best porn to watch is threesomes with two guys and a woman. I think I'd be a little concerned with the fact that there's so many down low guys out here. Would he really be getting turned on by me? Or what he's watching the guy do, the little sword fighting thing they're doing. Another conversation. All right, what else? Early condoms were made of everything but snakeskin. Uh, made of a whole bunch of different things, but not snakeskin. Okay, that's that's good to know. And pubic hair is programmed to grow to a certain amount. That's true. Wow. Okay. So your pubic hairs can only grow to a certain length, no matter what you eat or drink or what kind of vitamins you have, your pubic hairs can only grow to a certain length. So there's your fun facts here on Freaky Friday, your weird sex facts that you found out tonight. Hopefully you learned something, wrote it down or made a notation that starting at 42 minutes in this particular episode, there's going to be information there that you're going to want to make note of because you're going to win some money because of it for knowing these answers to something. I'm almost certain I know what I'm going to ask you guys, <laughs> but you need to know the answer to all 10. God damn it. Cause you never know what I'm going to ask. Anyways, it's freaky Fridays here on talkradio.com with your hostess Cypher Kai. I'm going to play one more song, jump into one more email, and then we're going to give away this money. And then we're going to get into tonight's topic, which is, is a same sex act negated because there's money involved. We're going to discuss it here on freaky Fridays on talkradio.com. I'm going to play another one. This one is going to be mm, from John Z. Again, have not learned how to pronounce this song properly, so I'm not going to butcher it. Anyway, this is Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com with your hostess, Cypher Kai. John, están parando de la 30. Ten cuidado, que tú siempre estás fumado con los cristales tinteados. Te amo, que Dios te bendiga. Ten cuidado. Si me gano un Grammy, luzo ese ni cero. Muchos enemigos por culpa de ser sincero. Leal mi corillo, no son traicioneros. Aquí nadie chotea, que nos maten primero. Antes era ratero. 
ahora soy trapero Mi vida cambió por culpa del dinero Yo siempre fui feliz, eso no es lo que quiero Mentira cabrón si es lo que quiere el mundo entero Chavos y mujeres, fama y placeres Donde quiera que voy, todo el mundo me quiere Yo no he cambiado, cambiaron ustedes Yo sigo siendo el mismo, ahora con los poderes Confía en quien tú eres, mi mamá me lo decía Cuídate de la envidia y de la hipocresía Y de los policías porque siempre estoy fumado Casuleado con los cristales tinteados 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 Porque siempre estoy fumado Casuleado con los cristales tinteados Casuleado con los cristales tinteados Casuleado con los cristales tinteados porque siempre estoy fumado. Si me gano un Grammy, mi familia enloquece. Si no me lo gano, le robo uno a calle 13. Hablan de mí, palabras o ese. Grammy para John Z, él no se lo merece. Quieren que tropiece, yo quiero verlos bien. Por eso me llueve, billetes de 100. Yo no juzgo a nadie, yo no soy quien. Por eso me bendice Dios y a los míos también. Blitz, mi país me dijo, no te la eche. No confía en cualquiera, que las manos te estreche. A no mirar para el lado. Que el tiempo aproveche, que el que está pendiente al bicho lo que busca es leche. No hay puta que me fleche, mi maíz me lo decía. Cuídate de la envidia y de la hipocresía. De la de y la CIA porque siempre estoy fumado. Casuleado con los cristales tinteados. 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 Porque siempre estoy fumado. Casuleado con los cristales tinteados. Casuleado con los cristales tinteados. Casuleado con los cristales tinteados. Porque siempre estoy fumado. Ya, si me. Loco mil y real. De álbum. Casuleado con los cristales tinteados. Porque siempre estoy fumado. Durante Yo, Martino. Casuleado con los cristales tinteados. Porque siempre estoy fumado. Talking to that comes Freaky Fridays, Freaky Fridays. I almost missed that cue. Rex would have had a whole cow. Jesus. Anyway, this is Freaky Fridays with your hostess, Cypher Kai. Trying to be tame. I'm so goddamn excited to give away this money. I swear I hope somebody wins this money tonight. You guys had me nervous last week. It took a while. Like There were a couple of people sending in the answers and some of them were partially right and then not right. And then they were sending the answers in the wrong place. You guys get me very nervous. I want to give away this money. I do, I do, I do. So just do it right. Just do it right. Pay attention when it's time. Do it right. You'll have time. We don't rush it, right? So I'll announce what I want you to do how I want you to do it. You'll have a few minutes to do it. We're not going to like make you do it right here in a second. You've got about 15 minutes. You've got about 15 minutes <laughs> to come back with the right answers. And then you'll get your money live via cash app tonight. How exciting. How exciting. Oh, shout out to, well, tell me what to call you. I don't want to say your name on the air. I did shout you out. I said shout out to our, our nurse who's tuned in tonight doing all this work. There's a lot of nurses tuned in though. So tell me what name you want me to use to shout you out and I'll shout you out. All right. <laughs> Mr. just told me that you tuned in. Oh, I love it when people get interactive and they get so excited when I shout them out on the air. It's nice. All right. So should a man let his female friend sit in the backseat of the car? My cousin was texting me while she was with her friend. They are somewhat serious but not seeing each other that long. He took her on errands with him yesterday. But when he picked up, sorry, when he picked her up and had another guy in the car, he was in the front. This guy was introduced as his daughter's boyfriend. She said they were in the front and she was in the back seat texting me. How, but you know what? God damn it. See, this is the bitch assness I'm talking about. Let's learn some etiquette tonight, guys. Right? So I know the guys are going to chime in on this because I know you know better. So I'm assuming you guys are young because I know a grown ass man would know better, but I can't even say that because I do have a situation to discuss tonight. Okay. So you're talking about being in the car. So you, he was coming to pick you up. Right? So he knew he's picking you up. The person in the car knew he had someone to pick up. And so the person in the front seat is his daughter's boyfriend and they put you to sit in the back. First of all, the young man that was in the front trying to impress the daughter, her, his girlfriend's dad should have got the fuck out anyway. Secondly, the guy that came to pick you up, the grown man should have told the little bastard to get in the back of the fucking car. Right. And I can tell you for me and for future reference, right. Anytime you are going to hang out with this guy and ladies, this is a thing. And guys, if you don't know it, let me let you know it's a thing. When you go to pick up your lady, and I see guys do it all the time in the summertime, especially in the summertime. When you're going to pick up your lady, and I just had this conversation with my son a little while ago on a different uh, level. But when you're going to pick up your lady, first of all, if it's at all possible, drop your boy off. 
or let his ass out to take an Uber or something, right? Your woman is not... No, forget the woman part. Forget the even... <sighs> she doesn't even require a title. If you're fucking this chick, she should not be in the back of the car behind your homeboy. I don't want to hear this bros before hoes nonsense. I don't want to hear whatever rationale you have. The only person that should be in the front seat of your car with someone that you're banging while she's in the back is your mum. And for a very short span of time, for a very short span of time, and I'm not saying to kick your mum out for a piece of pussy, not by any means. I'm simply saying, if you know you've got things to do with mum, pick me up afterwards, right? Or let me go to your house and play with my vagina till you're done running around with mum. But I don't want to be in the backseat as a second woman either, even behind your mum, right? I surely don't want to do it behind your homeboy. And I can tell you if it was me, not only would I have not stayed in the car, he wasn't getting any cooch for a minute. And when I finally did give him some, I would have made, I would have reminded him how good it is and that he'd never make the fucking mistake again. So sh the answer to your question, should a man leave his female friend in the back? No, no. And even if he's not banging you, even if he's not banging you, it makes you, and guys, let me let you know this. Even if it's just your home girl, even if it's just your platonic friend, I'm telling you when other women see, because I've done it, when I see two guys in the front of a car and a girl in the back and you're trying to holler at me, you look like a complete fucking duck to me. Complete fucking duck to me. I won't even entertain you. I won't even entertain you. I'm telling you, you look like a complete ass to me. So in case you were unaware of what the perception is, you look like a dick. <laughs> Just so you're aware. Hipping you up. Freaky fighters and talk radio with your host, Cypher Kai. Just going to let you know, you look like a dick. The cash app giveaway is coming up in four minutes, you guys. We're going to do the countdown. Four minutes and somebody's going to win $200 via Pure Plantonics. The company we're connected to that gives away the free CBD pre -ferals. Is giving away two hundred dollars tonight on Cash App with us on Talk Radio for this Freaky Friday. Hell no, dude! Hit the back seat. That's what I'm talking about. See, because you're a grown ass man, Mister Way. I know you are a grown ass, grown ass man. That's right. Get your ass in the back. Now, here's a bad question though. Why is he even in the back? How far is he going? Right? I don't even know. So let me just tell you guys a story that I encountered this week. So there's a, a female friend that I have, and she said. She had the experience of her, she, was got, she went to her boyfriend's house and he moved into a new place. And so he went to do some furniture shopping. She had bought him like an air mattress or whatever and a TV for his new place just to get him started. And his homeboy came over and they went uh, furniture shopping. Three of them went furniture shopping. So her, the boyfriend and the homeboy went furniture shopping. They get in the furniture store. They're running around like little kids, whatever the case is. And when it's time for the delivery to get done, he puts the homeboy in the delivery vehicle. I think they must have rented a U-Haul or some shit. And the woman, the girlfriend, is... I don't know if she said she took the bus or she was walking... Because I guess it wasn't far. She ended up walking to the house. So I was like, are you still going over there? So she goes over there. And then when she's there, this dick face has the homeboy with his outside clothes in the middle of a pandemic, sitting on his fucking bed, rolling up weed. And then at some point in the evening, the two guys left. One allegedly went one direction. One in another direction, and she spent the night in the house by herself. And I'm wondering, I forgot to ask her because I got interrupted, why the hell she stayed? So, guys, I don't know what that's about, but I'm still kind of in that same vein of where is it a thing for grown men to put their, their homies in front of their ladies? When did that become a thing? That seems like bad dick etiquette. It just seems like, <laughs> it just seems like bad cock etiquette or something. Cock ticket. Bad cock ticket. Let's make up words. We make up words and talk radio, goddammit. I'm saying, when, how, somebody explain something. I need one of you penis carriers to tell me something. One of you penis carriers, tell me how that works out. Or if these are just unique situations where, you know, these guys are just untrained and un, just not bred properly or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very confused. And I was hurt by the whole situation. Very confused about a lot of things. Right. So let me sneak in here and say at this point, 59 minutes in that I have been. OK, you know what? <laughs> I have been dismissed by the target, you guys. I I'm going to have to shift my target. I'll be taking applications next week. Um, I've been kicked to the curve um figuratively figuratively before you guys start your shit <laughs> oh my god there's like ten thousand people now saying they wish they wanted to look look 
look, I, I don't know what happened. Like I said, I had the team in place. The plans were in place. The blueprints were there. Uh, but it seems as though the target just, you know, doesn't want all this goodness that comes from this heist that was getting put in place. Right? So, effectively, I'm going to have to take some applications next week. I'll let you guys know what my criteria is. I'll think about it over the course of the week and decide what my criteria is going to be uh, for these applications. But I'm going to have to clearly shift the target and shoot that bus down somebody else. I don't know. It's been a long time coming. Somebody's about to be very happy. I don't know who deserves that blessing. Only God knows I'm saying. But yes, it is a first time for everything. I've been ousted and kicked to the curb by said target. So let's take a moment of silence for the target. Well, no, not for the target. He's fine. Uh, <laughs> let's take a moment of silence to bury the heist that was supposed to occur, you guys. All right, enough of that. So let's play. <laughs> let's play. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Can't play shit. All right, guys. So here it is. Are you ready? Trying to give away two hundred dollars tonight via Cash App uh, from our sponsor, Pure Plantonics. Pure Plantonics, the company that gives away the free CBDs that you guys are loving so much and spending so much money with them. They're giving away money. So let's do it. In the episode from February seventh, entitled "Tricky Bitches Him Versus Her," there were two monetary giveaways in that episode one we did last week for three hundred dollars right and then there was another one in that episode there was a song two different songs from an artist one of our independent artists we showcased on the show named punch of Velocio, saying two different songs two different songs in that episode i want to know the proper names of the songs from that particular episode now you had a couple of weeks to gather this information you can also go back into the archive and if you go on from our website it usually shows the names of the artist's songs over the little notches in the archives and that's why it's so important to be connected to our website www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows right because when you listen on the other platforms to the archives it doesn't show you those highlights of the songs but our website does because this is not tricky shit we want you to actually win the goddamn money we want you to win it, right? So it's 901 now, yeah? When you have the answer, there's a Facebook group. There's a Facebook group, a public one, so that people know that you got the right answer, damn it, and that you're going to get the money you won potentially. So I need you to go over to the Facebook group. It's called Friends Who Like Talk Radio. If you've not joined it, send a request to join it, yeah? Put the answers there. What two songs from Pancho Velocio played in the February 7th episode entitled Tricky Bitches Him vs. Her. I want you to do two things. Go over and either join or send a request to join that Facebook group. Yeah? Friends who like talk, T-A-W-K radio, who like talk radio. Put the answer in there, right? And say that you're answering the $200 cash app giveaway. You got to do all those things. I need the names of the songs, right? In response to the two hundred dollar cash app giveaway, right? So put the artist's name. I'm telling you his name now. Pancho Velocio. That's his name. I'm telling you. And then the two songs that he sang, the two titles of the songs he sang in that particular episode. Do that. You've got till 9.15 for someone to do that and get this $200 tonight. I'm going to play some music and come back. And then we're going to get into this topic of the evening, which is, which is going to be discussed after someone wins this money or the time passes for them to win this money. So at 9.15, we'll start this conversation about same sex situations being negated by money. Is that possible? We'll discuss what all of that means. I'll play an audio clip for you guys to listen to, and then we'll have a discussion. It's Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com. It is the quarantine 2020 stimulus package here on Talk Radio. Talk Radio. Talk Radio. I'm all animated and shit, right? I'm all animated and shit. All right, so we're going to play... Oh, I love this song. I'm so addicted to this song now. This is called Safety 2020 by Gashi featuring DJ Snake, Afro B, and Chris Brown here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. No, no, no. 
make me go, I take you home, make sure you're right I'm into you, we in the mood, baby, let's vibe When you're moving your waistline, I take time, oh Go, no, yeah, yeah, yeah Money on some, anything you need, don't go give up I there for you when you're in trouble Tell me what you want, I'ma go us, go us, ah Come and save me, take your heart off safety The other girl don't face me, I want you to be my baby I need you come over and save me I need to put this gun on safety I hate that you just said you hate me I need you come over and save me, my right dog I need you come over and save me Twitter.com's Freaky Fridays, Freaky Fridays. So again, I want someone to win this money, right? I want someone to win this money. So here it is. There are people sending me answers in the wrong places and some people are confused. So let me help you because again, I'm not going to give you the answers, but just pay attention to me. Yeah. Do not send me the message on the messenger part of the talk radio Facebook page. There's a public page called Friends. <laughs> Who like talk radio, T-A-W-K radio. Join it or request to join it. It comes down immediately. The, the technicians and interns and stuff will take care of it. But there are people also sending partial answers. Yeah. We're not interested so much with the spelling of the artist name because it's a little hard to spell. I think sometimes we fuck it up ourselves. We're interested in the names of the songs. Somebody has a part of it and not the other part. Right. So you guys got to pay attention to the names of the songs from that particular artist. Yeah, so go back and pay attention, right? If you need to, you've got a few, what, seven more minutes, go into an archive and check on our website, www.tawkradio.com forward slash shows. In the player, there's a, um, it shows you a list of like the last 25 episodes or some shit. Go in it, click across the thing, look for it, right? But you guys have to give the right answer. We do not rig competitions here. We want to make it all fair and clean and legal. You guys do what you need to do. We want to give away this money, surely. We want to give it away, why not? Right? So, stimulus package for talk radio. Get the goddamn money. Yeah? So, we're not as concerned about the spelling of the artist's name as we are you guys getting the right songs. We don't want to give credit for a song that doesn't belong to the artist. Right? We don't want to do that. We want you guys to get acclimated with the artist, follow them, like them, support them all as jazz. So, do what we're asking you to do. Yeah? And <laughs> shout out to the people that are trying to give me criteria for who I should be with. And there's a couple of people that are crying because the heist is over. Oi, right? I'm sad too. I am. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not. But that's just, that's what happened. I don't know. I can't, he's really stubborn. I can't imagine him getting his mind right and changing on that. <laughs> right? I don't know. But I was told I, I've been dismissed. I've been dismissed and obviously it's supposed to be a lovely situation, a very sexual situation, a very engaging situation. And obviously it's not something that I want to pour on someone who doesn't want it or will appreciate it. Right. So applications will be open more than likely <laughs> next week because spring is coming. and It's been a long time. It's been 18 years. I think it's time to blow the cobwebs out of this bitch and put it back on the market. I'm just saying. Right. So that's kind of what that is. You guys stop crying. You're making me feel like you're making me feel bad. It's not me. Trust me. I wanted to kidnap his ass. Not me. <laughs> so there we go. Um, there's some people sending me criteria, though. There's a couple of fans that are saying they want it. Look, it's not an automatic thing. You don't get to send me naughty things or requests. I have some criteria. I don't know what it is yet, but I do have some people that are giving me some requests of what the right criteria should be. Let me see what the request I got just now. What's someone say to me? Someone who knows me very well. What were you saying that I need to do? What am I looking for? Oh, my criteria. Okay. So this is a friend of mine for over what? 30 years now. About, about 30 years. Um, so my criteria is he has to have a job, nice lips, fingers. What about his fingers? Play, speed vibrating to the audio. What happened? Oh no, 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 no. What happened? I don't know. Okay. Internet connection. And I really hope it's not a thing right now. I swear, I hope it's not a thing right now. I let her jump on the ball like she Megan. Ain't no pulling out, I'm shooting like Stefan. She think I'm coming first, girl, what you bet? I pop a perk and said it got me legging. Yo, bitch, she going down, young jock. Charlie, she still going, but it popped. She said to me calling my name when she
when she see me, Tiana Taylor calling by. I'm gonna pull up with work, they like what's in the box. She from Jamaica, I'm pulling her locks. Got this baby mama driving a boat. Disrespect to getting thrown off the dock. Shorty fat, her booty big like a yacht. Stay with my gun and his lady is hot. We on the block, beating up the pots. You in the house, laying on your back. Tell me pull up, I kick push like I'm Lupe. I got some Henny Patron and Duce. Listen to me, she don't care about what you say. Play with the gang, I'ma aim at your toupee. Got a bag and fix my teeth like I'm Cardi B. Mommy, she happy, she proud of me. Network say 33 million. Google, why the hell you lie to me? I'm about to buy me a boat, then buy me a boat, then buy me a boat. Uh, she wanna ride the boat. Put her head back, then I look at her throat. She feeling me and I'm feeling her too. All my music, she digging the shit. We tried to Netflix and chill her to doom and she just started sucking the dick. I had to throw some niggas off the boat cause ain't nobody sinking my ship. I let her ride the boat just like she making the style and she working them hips. She wanna drive the boat. I let her ride the boat. She got a front hitting boat. Cause this ain't no powder boat. She tried to go down, she whipped out my man. She said, You gotta lie to boat. Now she wanna drive the boat. I let her drive the boat. Talkity.com's Freaky Fridays. Freaky Fridays. I really hope to God you guys can hear me because I swear to everything, I'm going to just be super pissed off. I need to know if the bulk of you, and I know most of you can hear me because you sent me messages telling me you can hear me, but there's some other people that are saying they're having an issue. So I want to know if it's just where they're located. And I noticed that there is an issue uh, here behind the scenes I'm having as well. Rex is going to have a fit. Please fire Rex. It's going in and out even now. Or can you hear me now? It better not be going in and out now, I swear to God. I Because Rex will be fired for sure. Can you hear me, Mr. Ware? Send me something in the chat room. I think the chat room's acting funky. I don't know. But I swear, when I go... Ooh, uh, mm, 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 don't you get this man fired? Don't you get this man fired tonight? That would just be a scene. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to give away this money it's 918 and the reason why we're extending it is because it seems that we're having some kind of technical issues so i need to know if you guys are hearing me clearly now so we can continue with this monetary giveaway tonight here on freaky fridays it's let's see um because this is gonna just make me really really upset really really upset like really upset and I find the timing of which the shit went out was like really crazy as soon as I started talking about you know taking applications and chucking away the whole heist thing all of a sudden the uh <laughs> everything went haywire hmm maybe I have to rethink that I have to rethink that whole situation all right we'll see let me play some more music let me play some more music and see what happens um hmm wow that's that's really powerful isn't it all right, so I'm going to play another one. I need you guys to let me know if you can hear me, though. I swear to God, I need to know if we need to prolong this thing until next week, and then the answer would have to be something different, obviously. It would have to be something different, wouldn't it? All right, I'm going to play Jacob Free and Charlie Black here on Freaky Fridays and Talk Radio until I can find out what the heck is going on on you guys' side. Everything is sounding clear to me, but I need to make sure that you guys can hear me. This is Jacob Free and Charlie Black on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. Why non touch, girl? Why non touch? Me, me like to brace on it. Me like to brace on it. Brace on it. I'm a like to back it so. Me like to brace on it. I'm a like to back it so. I'm a like to back it so. Me like to brace on it. I'm a like to back it so. Back it so. Back it so. Back 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 it so. I saw you bad. When me a bend over, me a wine and cut. Inna the air, me a wine and cut. And a girl can't test how me wine and cut. Charlie, you know you love it, how me wine and cut. Check your premium. Talkradio.com's Freaky Fridays. I want to interject for a second. I was only made aware recently, because I'm so fucking far gone out the loop, that Miss J. Capri died in 2015. <coughs> Sorry, from a motorcycle accident or a car accident or something. So R.I.P. to Miss J. Capri. I absolutely love this song. Apparently, I found it late. It's been out for a very long time, but I do love it. So let's shout out to Miss J. Capri and all of the musical contributions she made on her short time on the earth. Moment of silence. All right, this is Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com with your hostess, Cypher Kai. Jay Capri, sorry, Jay Capri and Charlie Black 
Wine and Cotch here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. I go give you the data, make you shovel up your pussy like mix matter. I will be a fucking master. Give me a bed over, me a wine and cut. Put in a DM, me a wine and cut. And I can't count to tell me wine and cut. Charlie, put in on your love and tell me wine and cut. Check a premium love when you wine and cut. Position like a double U, wine and cut. That's how to type, boom, boom, punch on the block. Make a kitty, tip, 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 so come wine and cut. Talkradio.com's Freaky Fridays, Freaky Fridays here on Talkradio.com. All right, so there's some people that are getting a little frustrated because they're not getting the right information, the right answers for the competition tonight, for the giveaway tonight, it's a competition giveaway. There's some information we gave um, <laughs> to win $200 tonight from our sponsor at Pure Plantonics, who gives away the free CBDs. So they want to give away $200 tonight. They gave it to us. You guys can get it via Cash App if you have Cash App and the right answers. So what you need to do, go into the archive, uh, the Allentown. If you can still hear me, let me know. Uh, there's something crazy that's happening <laughs> right now where I am. I'm sorry, you guys. Look, like I said, a family member passed and I'm here trying to give support and levity to my family members as I tuck away to do the show, obviously. And I just think they got really crappy service in here. So it keeps showing me some crazy stuff on my screen. Mr. Allentown, if you can still hear me, let me know. Anyway, <clears throat> or somebody else, anybody else is tuned in who can still hear my voice and there's no dead air with you, let me know. So the topic for the evening, as I mentioned, is does the same sex situation get negated if there's money involved? And I want to make sure you guys can hear me very, very clearly before I breach on this topic. All right. So, Mr. Can, Mr. Allentown, can you hear me? And I'm asking him specifically because he's been so damn interactive behind me. And he's up in the sticks. So I figure if he can hear me, you guys should be able to hear me wherever you are. I think he's in like in a cabin somewhere in Pennsylvania. <laughs> with the with the Amish or something so I don't know anyway tonight's topic is one second just want to make sure you guys can hear me oh live radio live radio and I have no staff tonight so I'm sorry for this sorry sorry like I said work in progress you guys know what it is but we're here giving away, well, trying to give away money and doing things and whatnot. And I said I didn't want to start the topic until someone won the money or we decided all the time was done for that part of the show. So <clears throat> trying, but it seems like it's of no use. So we're going to continue on. I'm going to play an audio clip right now. His ass if I wanted to. That don't mean I'm gay. I could just do it just to do 
All right, so I'm thinking at some point while that was playing, again, I'm looking at the screens and what I'm looking at, and I'm hoping you guys were able to hear the whole thing. That's for me to do. I don't want to do that. Well, I mean, no one won the money tonight, so we're going to roll it over to next week. Um, <clears throat> I think we might have to pick up with this topic next week because it's, it keeps going in and out. Where I'm located, the internet is not really great. So I'm sad about that. I'm going to play one more song for the evening. Next week, I'm going to add another $50 on our own. Talk Radio is going to add some money to this pot that no one won tonight. So it'll be a $250 giveaway next week here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio for something else. I don't know what it's going to be, but you guys should really go in to the archives and listen, listen, listen. There'll be some kind of information from this particular show we'll ask. Go in with your papers and pens to win $250 next week. And the episode from last week the one in from March 20th, 2020. There's information in there for a $300 cash app giveaway also sometime in the month of April. So we're doing at least two giveaways in April, one for $250 and one for $300. So you guys go in. Apparently I can't discuss this thing tonight and maybe I wasn't supposed to discuss this topic tonight because every time I go to play this damn audio clip, something as crazy is happening with the damn internet. So, well, where I'm sitting. So I'm going to play one more song for you guys and we're going to wind down the show for the evening here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. The one we're going to play is from, called Play Play from Jay Huss featuring Burnham Boy here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio. <laughs> I know you're in love Call me up the Mac with the extension And me up the money for your extensions Call me like your hair longer than my gun Ooh, now we have the guns and girls I fi keep the balance And up in my world when I sleep in a man Anytime you could go down She won't hold up, she let it all out Bow, 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 bow My favorite girl had the French braids I had a crush on her since back a day She said her Usna needs a bandage After I come round and gave her the 12 gauge We tried to call my phone but it was engaged I was with my little mama, she was honey glazed I've been crushing on her since back then Just the other day I gave her the Mac 10 I don't want just any girl cause I'm a little cheesy But I swear I'm a sucker for a little beauty I had a skin fade like a little boozy And then I went and gave little mama the little easy Cause you got a body shape that I can't forget The way I make you drip when I'm talking slick I'm ashamed cause when I came I was busting quick That's why this time I, I came with a banana clip I know you're in love Got me up the Mac with the extension And me up the money for your extensions Got me like your hair longer than my gun no we have the guns and girls that we keep the balance And up in my world when I sleep in a man Anytime you can go down She won't hold up, she let it all out Bow, 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 bow Only God can judge me but my friends are life up My life is too far so I can never wife her I'm from the east coast but she's a west sider I scoped her from far cause I'm the best sniper Said she had the melon so I go and get her Spray with my AK-47 The way she keeps me guessing she is a blessing But she only loves me for my 357 I think she was Bayesian or maybe Trini Every time I linked her I had a 9 milli I had to link a cougar with a luger But the next time I bring out a big bazooka It's the return of the map, call it the sequel I'm known as the map like Beanie Seagull Before she got undressed she was already see-through then she fell in love with my desert eagle Got me up the Mac with the extension And me up the money for your extension Got me like your hair longer than my gun Ooh, no we up the guns and girls If we keep the balance And up in my world when I sleep in a man Anytime you can go down She won't hold up, she let it all out Bow, 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 bow She love me for my guns, yeah. From Monday to Sunday I keep a girl up on the runway She love me for my guns, yeah. But if it wasn't for my gun pain, then she really wouldn't love me. She love me for my gun pain. From Monday to Sunday, I keep a girl up on the runway. She love me for my gun pain. But if it wasn't for my gun pain, then she really wouldn't love me.
Freaky Fridays, Freaky Fridays here on TalkRadio.com. I'm going to wind it down right here. I want to shout out to all of the fans who hung out tonight. Shout out to all of the people that made an attempt to win the money tonight as well. I want to also give a shout out to our sponsors. <clears throat> Shout out to all of the global uh, fans who are tuned in. Shout out to the 1,500 people in the past few minutes that sent me applications and your qualifications. I also appreciate the fact you guys didn't send me any dick pics or vagina pics. There's a couple women in here too. Um, ladies, uh, unfortunately for you, it's only for guys. Only guys. I, I, I don't, only for guys. <laughs> right? Um, but thank you guys. I, I'm sure the interns will have a good time going through you guys' resumes. Um, someone was adorable enough to send me one with a whole business suit on and a attache case and just a lot of lovely things. You guys are amazing. The interns, I'm sure, will have a fun time going through that. <laughs> Oh, we'll talk about those things. Shout out also to my, my longtime friend who's tuned in with his wife and all of the couples who are tuned in tonight who seems to know me so well and wanted me to make sure that I have someone that's going to match my stamina and my sense of humor and all that stuff. You guys are amazing. Uh, one final shout out to the target. I, your loss, you poor baby. Your loss. Um, your loss is going to be someone's son's gain. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this has been another episode of Freaky Fridays. Again, I, we were trying to touch on this topic tonight. And every time I went to put it on, something went haywire with the reception. Also, when I was taking the applications, when I made the uh, uh, announcement to take applications, something went haywire as well. But somehow you guys still got them through. So, you know, let's see what happens there. Next week, next week, next week, by the grace continuation of the stimulus package here on Freaky Fridays on Talk Radio will give away $250 based on some information that's found in tonight's episode. So as much of it as you can hear, go back into the archive and tune in and see what you find out. Pay attention, get your papers and pens out. And in last week's episode from March 20th, 2020, there's information for how you can win $300 with us via Cash App in April as well. So I will see you guys next week. This has been another episode of Freaky Fridays with Cypher Kai on Talk Radio.